it's uh, March. Uh, got uh, uh, very, very good Wisconsin team tomorrow. Uh, a team that is uh, um, very gifted offensively. They're very old. Uh, they've added a nice piece, an AJ store uh, to them in terms of their their ability to play um, offensively. But you know, it seems like the same cast of characters that have been there for a long time. Uh, coming off a game that um, was very unique, um, I think, in the fact that um, you look at it defensively, both teams made a lot of really hard shots, and uh, um, you know, we had a nice stretch defensively where we kind of turned it up and, and got some stops, uh, you know, get that thing up to 14 or so. And, uh, but, um, you know, Minnesota played great, uh, and we just uh, uh, happened to be clicking on all cylinders. So uh, Wisconsin's a very good offensive team. They're right there, the same caliber with us and Purdue. And, uh, you know, they've, they've been uh, uh, very good on that end of the court. So don't expect anything other than a – Good hard fought win, and Wisconsin is typical Wisconsin, and and don't turn it over, and you have to go beat them. They're not going to lose. You have to beat them. You guys have been number one OER over the last two months. I know at Oklahoma State you had that for the entire season. You're doing it different ways, but are there any similarities, maybe in terms of just confidence as a coach, that you can go get one? Yeah, I you know I think that we we you know we've always tried to be that team. You know, I think it's an exciting way to play. I think kids want to play that way. You know, uh, players enjoy the pace, the tempo, uh, the under seven. Uh, the other night was a little bit unique, and it was a pretty low possession game. You know, Minnesota runs a set, um, plays a little deeper in the clock uh, than a lot of teams do. Uh, but uh, uh, we've always tried to play that way. And, you know, we probably have the, the premier player in the country in transition, Terrence. Um, and then, uh, you know, a little bit different than at Oklahoma State when we had uh, this year we have a pick and pop five who can, who can really, really shoot it. And, um, you know, my teams at Oklahoma State had pick and pop fives. And uh, it's really hard to guard, it, it creates great spacing. Um, but um, yeah, I think it's, it's uh, you know, I'm confident on that side. Um, you know, we've been, you know, pretty solid. At, at different times defensively as well. So, but, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, uh, this group is, is confident on that side. You can't control it every night, but I, I like, I love the quality of shots we're getting and I love the fact we're not turning the ball over. I mean, what's made it so easy for teams to be integrated into that booty ball or that kind of style and principles you guys run offensively? You know, Terrence just kind of lets the game come to him. Terrence doesn't, uh, uh, he doesn't press. You know, he's really, really worked hard on his game, um, taking players one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I think we've seen him grow, as Io did, uh, in particular Trent, uh, in that area where, he's, where he can beat people off the bounce, get to a mid-range pull-up, get a three when he needs one. Uh, and he has that ability. Um, you know, that separates him from a lot of other, you know, from a lot of other guys. Uh, but, um, you know, he's... Uh, we don't put him in a ton of actions, but he's very get, gotten very good at just playing the game and playing off Marcus or Ty or Coleman, whoever's in that in those actions. So, uh, just maturity and age and, and and a lot of hard work. What can starting with Wisconsin with this last stretch of three games that maybe before the season was going to be tough, um, just maybe mean for this team as you get towards the Big Ten tournament, NCAA tournament? Well, yeah, you look you look at stretches. You know, when the conference schedule comes out, you look at games and, and you don't you don't know how the season's going to play out and how teams are, you know, and there was a stretch early in the year, you look at it and you go, oh, you know, where do, we, where do you find one? And, and uh, you know, and then you know you're going to, uh, you know, end the season with, with Wisconsin-Purdue and, you know, Purdue has, has probably been the one given uh, since the jump, you know, where everybody knew, okay, they're, they're going to be pretty good. And, um, but, uh, you know, Wisconsin's had a, had a, had a great, great year. Uh, Iowa's rounding into form, you know, anytime it's Illinois and Iowa, it's going to be a good game. And, and uh, so it's, it's uh, there's a lot of stretches throughout the season that you look at and you just, you know, kind of nod your head and go, it's going to be tough. Well, 
now that you're upon this, it's tough and they're all tough. And, uh, you know, not to downplay Minnesota, but we knew that was going to be a, a, a hard game. They're good. They're, all their metrics play into the top 25 here in the last month, six weeks. So uh, it's just here. It's, you know, they're all quad one games and, you know, it's the hand we're, we're dealt. So we go, we go play the cards. You know, since you've made, made it through with 28 games and you know, for the most part, I've found a way to, to get one. Just eat. Where, where do you kind of feel about this team as they've got three opportunities for big ones? Yeah, I feel that? great. I, you know, it's, it's, it's been an uneasy season, you know, from the standpoint that, that there's been, there's been, hasn't been without distraction for us, you know, and, and it hasn't been without uh, injuries to a couple of key guys who I feel like would be playing a good amount, Amani and, and Nico. Uh, we've had to, to weather that. We've had to, guys have had to log more minutes. Uh, we've had to, you know, kind of a abrupt change in how we were playing early compared to what we're doing now on the offensive side. And, and you know, that's impacted Dane at a, at a certain level. Uh, so it, it's been uh, not without change and, 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 and some speed bumps along the way, but it shows the maturity of this group and they've persevered and, and, uh, and we found a way. Is there some more comfort in March when you have an older team? Like they understand what to expect, quad yeah. three, they know that there's opportunity ahead here, right, seed lines, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is that for you yeah. fair? Yeah, that's very fair. And, you know, I, th I go back to the, the Penn State game and I should probably leave that game alone, yeah. but, you know, last year I would have had to beat that one up pretty good, you know, with them. And this year we didn't talk about it. They know and they know how to prepare and there's moments there and, and, and you don't feel like you have to to be the, the guiding light as much because you know we've got guys who've, who've been in those moments and uh, you know we talk about throughout the course of the year you know you come to this place to play in big games and to try to have the opportunity to cut down nets, wear rings and, and, and go to the NCAA tournament and uh, that's what all the work's for and it's, it's, it's now you know we're not dreading it and looking forward to the season being over, we're excited and looking forward to the opportunity. How much have you seen Wisconsin be a style program where like they just play a certain style, you know what they are. Is that true in this year from your estimation? And, and is that good or bad playing a team when you know what they're going to do? You know, AJ gives them a different dimension than that they've had. But again, they've still got the uh, black ball off the bench. You know, they, they, they've got uh, they're more athletic with AJ. AJ's a special athlete. Um, but, uh, you know, and he's kind of got the green light to, to shoot it whenever he's, you know, he gets up 15 or 16. They're playing a little bit faster. And I say that, uh, you know, it's still hard to get to a game with 70 possessions with them. And, you know, what they're going to do defensively. And uh, there's a lot of really familiar faces still in that lineup. And, and uh, you know, Wisconsin's, uh, Greg's been ultra successful there, um, and this year's no different. Your ball screen stuff defensively, how have you evaluated Coleman? Of course, he's been in that a lot more this year as a, as a five man. What have you seen with him? Is The numbers are terrific. Um, you know, we haven't given up a whole lot. We gave up one or two, I think, to Pharrell. Um, but, you know, we haven't we've given up very, very little to uh, rollers. Uh, which has been, uh, you know, a key, and again, a tribute to, to Coleman. Coleman's extremely smart in those situations. Uh, you know, when we have gotten in trouble, we've gotten clipped in a screen, um, and um, you know, having Terrence on the ball in, in a lot of those situations, Garden Primary guys has helped a bunch. Um, but uh, we're still forcing teams into the kind of shots that we want. Um, you know, Minnesota heard us the other night with. You know, they made nine off the bounce threes. And, uh, you know, we laid on a couple screens um, and, and they got them off and made them. But uh, again, we're still going to live with teams having to shoot those. Those are really, really hard shots. I mean, defensively, to maybe force the teams in, I mean, you're still limiting threes, forcing tough twos. But, I don't know, is there a frustration when like, they just keep going in? I mean, because you're doing all the right things, but the, you're not getting the results. It's, I, you, you get. I get frustrated because I want to play the perfect game and I want every possession to be a stop and I want to win every battle and 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 but you also understand that we've got really good players and I think we've seen a 
uh, a shift in the Big Ten. I think we got really good offensive teams. Really, really good offensive teams. I think we have really, really good guards in this league. Uh, we have guards who can make hard shots. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe it's not as much a post-up league uh, as it has been in the past years. So, um, you know, analytically, we break down after every game. We just did a deep dive into this one. I mean, we're still forcing the shots we want to shoot. We're, we're, they're the least effective shots uh, in, in the game. Uh, we're taking away threes. We're, um, you know, our challenge rate is really, really good. Sometimes teams just make them. And fortunately for us, we're doing the same thing on the other end. So it's, it's uh, you know, I still think we're gonna, we're gonna grow here and, and take another step on that side. But uh, uh, I like the shots we're forcing teams into. And we're not fouling. Marcus going back home, so to speak. Uh, what do you see out of guys when they get that opportunity to go back home, have a lot of family? And... Yeah, usually there's a little, little different edge. Um, there's no doubt. I think, you know, we saw that a little bit with Dane playing Minnesota, playing homeschool. And uh, uh, I always like that. I think that's a, that's a, it's a neat experience uh, for them. And, and uh, you know, he's experienced enough that he's not gonna, uh, you know, get, make it any more than it is. But, uh, you know, they play with a little different, maybe mental focus and edge. And, uh, you know, Marcus' dad, very successful high school coach there. And, and uh, uh, you know, a lot of contacts. So it'll be a fun game for him. Thank you. Thanks,